I have always been intrigued by the multiplication phenomena found in both the Old, New and Old Testaments. A phenomena that is still in effect today. We are familiar with the feeding of the 5,000, also known as the miracle of the, the uh, five loaves and two fish in the Gospels. Jesus took a little bit uh, that was given to him and had a major impact. Now, not as familiar with, with this story in the Old Testament is the multiplication of oil. The wife of a man from the company of the prophets cried out to Elisha, Your servant, my husband, is dead, and you know that he revered the Lord, but now, now his creditor is coming to take away my, my two boys as his slaves. Elisha replied to her, How can I help you? Tell me, what, what, what do you have in your house? Your servant has nothing, nothing there at all, she said, except, except a small jar of olive oil. Elisha said, Go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars. Go and ask for just a few. Then go inside, shut the door behind you and your sons. Pour the oil into all the jars, and as each is filled, put it to one side. She left him and shut the door behind her and her sons. They brought the jars to her, and she kept pouring. And when all the jars were full, she said to her son, Bring me another one. But he replied, there's not a jar left. Then the oil stopped flowing. Fascinating. And, and I see this in effect today. Whatever we give to the church, whether service or money, has the same phenomena of multiplication. And a perfect example of this is when, when Bill leads worship service or Mike presents a sermon. They take a gift, a single gift that God has given to them, and gives it to the congregation. And that congregation is blessed. But it doesn't stop there. We go and tell our friends and our families about the blessing that we've had here. We share this blessing. And it spreads out a little bit more. And yet, that's not all. This, this sermon and this worship service gets posted on a website. And anybody can have access to it. And it spreads out a little bit more. Not only that, it's on TV on our local public uh, TV cable service. And it spreads out a little more. Jesus took five loaves and two fish and fed 5,000. God takes one worship service, one worship time, and, and one sermon <coughs> and touches countless lives. So you see, when we give, whether love, service, or money, God multiplies that gift. He takes whatever we offer, and use it to make a significant impact for the kingdom of God. Let's pray. Lord, we joyfully bring to you our offerings and wait with eager anticipation to see what you will do for the kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.